Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to the RS Clips. How are you feeling? I am good. Little disappointed that we didn't win the finals, but yeah, I am good. Okay. Uh, is a cricket fan alive very much so in every cricketer's heart? Also, yeah, of course. I mean, end of the day, we are all cricket fans as well as cricketers. So yeah, we understand what goes on. What goes on, bro? What goes on in terms of you know emotion for the game? Like when you sit out and even watch cricket, so you are always a spectator. Even though you keep analyzing stuff as a cricketer, but you are always a fan inside. Okay. Do you want to tell me how your viewpoint changes once you actually become a professional cricketer? And you're viewing a game. How does your viewpoint change versus when you were a fan and when you didn't play play professionally? I mean, it changes because you keep analyzing. You look at the conditions. You look at what the bowler is trying to do or the batsman is trying to do. So you have your analysis based on, you know, if he has done something right or wrong, or why he has done something or why he hasn't done something. So, I mean, it all makes sense. But end of the day, sport being a sport, you can never analyze it enough. Now that you just hope that we do well, yeah. What do you mean you can't analyze it enough? मतलब क्या? मतलब मतलब we can never get it uh, spot on. Okay. In terms of analysis, there's always that element of uh, you know surprise in a sport. Okay. Yeah. Like you can't exactly say that this went wrong or that went yeah, wrong or this yeah. went right. That's what you're trying to say. I mean exactly. Okay. But you can always come close. I tweeted actually that this is. The Generation Z version of what we went through in 2003. Yeah. You, you remember that 2003 yeah, pain yeah, yeah. of the Ricky Ponting team? Gen Z has understood that pain now. Uh, fair to say? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, we were actually in the West Indies when we were watching. We were in the India A side, but we were watching our main team, uh, you know, play the 2003 World Cup. They did so well, but in the end. I thought I thought we would do the opposite to Australia this time. Unfortunately, yeah. we couldn't. Which one do you think hurts us more as fans, 2003 or 2023? I think both, but uh, this time I think we had a much stronger side. That point, uh, I think Australia were much stronger than us. But this time, definitely we were a stronger side. Yeah, yeah. This is probably the strongest Indian side that I can remember in my life. of watching yeah. cricket and i have a friend of mine zakir khan he also said the same thing that he's never seen an indian side dominate so much exactly right do you agree as a professional cricketer or am i saying something wrong no 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 of course we had i think sometimes you no know, things happen like that but uh, i feel this is the best indian side i've seen in i've seen play in a world cup yeah 100% Have you seen a better Indian side than this in general? But yeah, of course, two thousand eleven was a better Indian side in general because of the skill factor and the experience and everything. But this side, I think, played the best in all the World Cups that I have seen. Yeah, um, you know, there's something called theory of negative biases, which means if someone says something negative about you, you'll always remember that, but you won't remember the ten positive things that are said about you by ten right. different people. That's just how human brains work. So I feel a lot of our starting eleven or the squad that played the twenty twenty three World Cup. I'm sure they are staying away from social media right now because there will be those fans, you know, who will point fingers and blame and kind of throw negativity. But I think most Indian fans, like ninety nine percent, are actually very proud of our team. Yeah. Of just how they played. I think I think they should be proud of the team. The way they have played was tremendous. I I don't think I have seen any team play like that. So. And it's just unfortunate that we couldn't pull it off in the finals. Somehow, I think even the wicket was kind of very, very slow, lethargic for a final. I don't know whose idea was it. I think I think even a normal surface would have done because we were we were way more stronger than the Australian side. We didn't have to do all that in the final. It it was just supposed to be a good cricketing wicket, which yeah. unfortunately wasn't. You know, all the fans. who watch cricket understand how much the pitch and the conditions can affect a game and we hear the analysis on the pitch and the conditions but actually when you're batting what changes on a slow pitch like that or what changes in those kind of conditions can you explain it from your 
लाइक इफ आई एम आस्किंग यू एज अंगर ब्रदर कि भैया समझाइए वॉट वॉट एक्चुअली चेंजेस वेन यू स्टार्टिंग टू बैट ऑन अ स्लो पिच लाइक दैट सो द ओनली डेलेमा इज इफ द पिच टेस्ट द सेम थ्रू आउट द गेम लाइक द एंटायर हंड्रेड ओवर्स दैन इट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम then you can play according to the conditions but when you know or have a sense that you might set in or you know pitch might get flatter later on so you will have to force yourself to you know play that many more shots just to get the run rate up to par for the second innings so that is where all the mistakes happen that was the surface where it was not the same in the first 50 and the next 50 so i think uh, for a world cup finals i definitely feel it should have been a much better wicket yeah does the indian team have a say in the wickets or not just the indian team but say if a tournament is happening in a country say england so will the english team have a say in like how the pitch should be i uh, i don't think they have a say but i think somehow people think that they are helping the indian side by preparing a wicket like that shouldn't they <laughs> <laughs> like i would help if i was in charge of that stadium but that's the problem say you know we got stuck on a wicket that was so slow unfortunately i don't think that should happen it should be a good cricketing wicket and we have the skill and we have the strength in our side to beat any side so a good cricketing wicket is something that stays constant throughout 100 overs yeah that should i mean in a limited overs game that's an ideal scenario okay yeah toss shouldn't matter that much so what was the logic behind someone saying nahi final ke liye na let's let's make it a slow wicket yeah, i don't know if somebody has thought about it or <laughs> done it on purpose but uh, if they would have, they would have done it on purpose it's stupidity yeah. i don't know who would have done it <laughs> i don't think they would have done it but okay. you know, I, i blame america bro <laughs> 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 no no i'm kidding uh, now it is geopolitically everyone blames uh, america uh, coming back to cricket um, could you see anything different as a former professional could you see anything different when the side was playing the final versus playing all the other games of the world cup was there a different mindset or was the mindset the same not not really i think uh, rohit started off the same all the, all the bats started off the same even i think the australians also came with a very good plan by not giving room to indians they were bowling more into their bodies and had had a leg side field and stuff so even they came prepared but uh, i don't think our approach has changed it's just because of the conditions that we had to bat a little different so it was just the situation and the yeah. pitch basically yeah that's the situation in the pitch and you know somehow we lost wickets at a crucial stage where we should not have even that uh, maybe we could have maybe gotten 30 40 more runs 280 would have been a very very good fight see so, you know bro we have viewers from ahmedabad and i want them to find the pitch curator <laughs> <and> <laughs> go and just ask him politely what are you thinking um but it, it was just the pitch according to you yeah i think it's just the conditions what is the mindset now like of the players two days three days after i'm sure you guys talk to each other generally i'm not saying that i'm not asking yeah. about inside information or anything i'm just saying as a professional cricketer when there is a loss like this where the country is a little bit dejected how do the starting 11 or the whole squad the 15 person squad how do they feel definitely it's a big dampener but uh, i think they'll move on eventually because they'll take a lot of pride in how they have played throughout so at the end of the day you know this is the time that everybody should you know keep backing them i'm sure uh, there's another uh, t20 world cup around the corner so we should keep this momentum going and i think the whole country should come forward in support of our team the way they have played and i'm i'm very sure that you know we'll start winning tournaments sooner than later yeah uh why do you say that because the brand of cricket that we are playing has changed so we are starting to dominate sides and we are starting to play well in play well in every condition so i think it's a great sign and uh, especially our bowling of the way we have bowled in this tournament is tremendous so, yeah i'm sure uh, you know things will get better from now on bro you know matlab sometimes if i've had a bad breakup in life then <laughs> i will think about my breakup first thing in the morning 
last two days i've thought about losing the match <laughs> that's my first thought in the morning <laughs> we lost on sunday yeah, yeah, yeah no i mean even even yesterday i went to a place called dindalur i met a lot of engineering students we were all you know interacting going for a walk everybody's energy was low saath mein ro rahe hain sab kya ho gaya pura i think it's everywhere it's okay yeah i think there's not there isn't anger no there is there's just... no anger there's no anger it's just that in a shock like how did this happen yeah there's shock shock yeah i think this is my most painful cricket memory yeah more than 2003 yeah, yeah. 2003 australia was a much better side stronger side This we were ten times the better side. I would say. So Travis said, "Look, ne tantra mantra kiya." <laughs> I it just doesn't make sense to me. Kuch tantra mantra. Yeah, seriously, oh, wicket jo banaye unko puchna. And generally, Motera is always a very good Motera. Now it's Narendra Modi Stadium. Is has always been a very very good good track. It's never been this low. I have played quite a few matches there. It's never been this low. Have you played in this stadium? But yeah, yeah, yeah this stadium, the big one. Yeah, the big. How one. does it feel playing in such a big stadium? It's good in a way because people are somewhere. Far. <laughs> yeah, they're so far away. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this. It's the artist clips.